Hey, what up, dudes? Insane is 64 here. Welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. The last episode, we went down a well, got the lens of truth, as you can see. We also climbed up Death Mountain and met with our brothers again, the Goron brothers. And we were planning to go to the Fire Temple. But first, I just want to sell this ghost to get him off of my chest. He's been in the bottle for like a couple days now and a couple episodes. Oh, what'd you say was. Oh, do you only want the. I did not want to drink that. I didn't know I could drink a ghost. <laughs> I honestly didn't know you could drink the. You can drink a ghost? I didn't know that. I never. Okay. I think he's only interested in the big pose, though. Yeah, zero points. Yeah, this guy will. You can sell pose to him, but he's only interested in the big ones. Okay, I thought I could sell the small ones. Never mind. This is a waste of time for no apparent reason. And I don't remember the song. Cool. It's actually not that hard. There we go. I did just get off a recording session of Majora's Randomizer. Yes, there's a randomizer coming. Don't know when. Probably way after this. Wait, actually, probably a couple episodes way into Ocarina of Time. But I'm not saying when. But I do want to get that piece of heart in the background real quick. I do want to grab that because that is bothering me. Even though I can't do anything about these rocks up ahead. Oh, wait, is that one blocked? No, that one's not blocking the only jump way to get here. It might be blocking the way back, but I can just warp back again. Not a huge issue. But yeah, I could have grabbed this as a... I think you can actually grab this hard piece as a kid. If you're quick enough. Go. I got scared. I didn't know if he was going to jump off or just let go. No, he climbs down normally. I think that's a new piece. I didn't even read any of the text. Nope, second one. It's our second piece. Alright. Work max, I'm lazy. Alright, enough messing around. Let's actually go into the fire temple. The uh, music might sound a little bit different from what I was reading in the patch notes. And I'll put up the screen right now to uh, tell, show you what I mean. Oh, I actually caught that ladder. We descend down this way. And in there is the fire temple. Oh, yep. I knew this bat was going to go for me. I did not want to. I backed us. Freaking temple. My bad. Unprofessional as hell. I want it. I've, that's a big loading zone, actually. Either that or it was that close to the door. But anyways. We are in the fire temple. As soon as I can hit this bat, that'd be great. Got a little bit of totems here. Right and the left. Oh. That's a fake door, if I remember right. Now you know it's fake. Well, it looks a little painted on there, but you can also throw a bomb. Never mind, you can't throw anything in it. Wait, is it a real door? <laughs> Never mind. I thought it was a fake door for a minute. Whatever. I legit thought it was a fake door. Ignore me over here. Um, got a locked door right there, but we want to go through this door first. That door is being blocked by a cage. <laughs> Who's there? Is that you, Link? Oh, it really is Link. You've grown so big since the last time I saw you. I want to have a man to man talk with you, but not, now is not the time. Gendor is causing trouble in Death Mountain. Again. He's revived the evil ancient dragon, Volvalgia. 
On top of that, he's going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to the other races that might resist him. If the fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become burning wasteland. I'll go on ahead and try to seal the up the evil dragon. I'm concerning though because I don't have the legendary hammer, but I have no choice. Link, I'm asking you to do this as my sworn brother. I'm trying to deal with the dragon. Please save my people. The first other cells are in the opposite direction. I'm counting on you, Link. I hope there's another boss key in here because apparently he had one on hand right there. But what he says is true. There is actually a Goron cage on the left here with a switch. And that legendary hammer, spoiler alert, is our uh, key item for this dungeon. We gotta find it. It's a tool slash weapon. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? No, I'm just escorting you out of here. I don't know. I'll tell you a secret from saving me. In order to get into the room where Zerunia went, you have to do something about the pillar stuck in the ceiling. Find the path that leads to the room above the ceiling right away. Thanks, but that is like end game, my dude. It's like later end game for this temple, I should say. We get a small key to start with, and there's a hookshot pillar over there. Jumping in this lava will not hurt you with a fire resistant tunic, but you will sink in it a little bit. But if you hang out on the fire too long, you will take damage. So as long as you keep moving, you won't take too much damage. And as long as you get on platforms, you should be fine. I don't think there's anything over there besides pots up there, so I'm just going to ignore that for now. Now, I did say earlier on, the Fire Temple music does sound a little different. And that is because this is a older version of a song that got cut on the final release of the game. There, uh, I've, It's been a couple days since I've seen the video on it. But there's a couple videos you can look up on it on YouTube. That's actually kind of interesting. But you can hear a little bit of chanting in the background. That was the version that was cut before this game was ever released. So... Yeah, pretty interesting. I think it was cut because it's a little bit of a Islamic chanting in there. Something like that. Uh, again, I'll put up, I put up the patch note earlier in the video, so you can just scroll back, and I'll do it again right here if I need to. But, yeah, the music here is a slightly different. That's all just really changed here. Everything else is still the same. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. There are switches in the temple that you have to cut to activate, but you can also use the Goron special crop to do the job. Why do you have to be so vague about your secret? I don't know. Vague-ish, I guess. Another key. I don't have too many special attachments with this temple. This one's just kind of, eh. It's a good temple, don't get me wrong. We also have like sinking and rising platforms. We have platforms that move. You got fire skulls attacking you. We have a lot of fire related things in here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this door to go in this room. Alright, this shoots all the way up there. We got some bats hanging around here somewhere. And this huge climbable fence wall that you can climb. Notice there's some bats, as you can hear them flapping a little bit. They're all resting up here. Let's get them out of the way, because the moment you get close to them, they start flying away and acting normal. Interesting uh, thing about bats in Ocarina of Time, uh, they will go into torches and like, light themselves on fire, unless I'm thinking of a different Zelda game. I think they do that here. I seen it, I think, in Wind... Maybe, maybe it was Wind Waker. And we need our key. Garf. We see we already have another locked door right here. I think there's something up this way, though. I gotta look. Yeah, now with this uh, slightly different music, it does give it a different feel in this temple. I don't think there's anything else in this room. I think I gotta go back out and find another key. Oh, you link your finds not that far of a drop. It 
does give it an eerie feel, I guess, to the room. Let's just for the rest of the half of this room. There is something over here. A tumble time block. And I just took damage there from the fire. As you see, I hanging out there a little too long. We got another Goron here. What's up, buddy? What's your secret? Are you releasing me? Nah. Here's the secret for saving me. A wall that you can destroy with the Goron's special crop will sound different than the regular wall if you hit it with your sword. Thanks? Weirdo. Alright, with that in hand, we can actually go back to that room and unlock that door. What I remember, I think, most out of this place was the keys early on, like almost the first few locked doors are locked. Nope, that's a bonus song. Also, I just realized after recording a little bit of that randomizer, uh, the ocarina for that one, I think was D-pad down. Oh, was I not close enough? No, sorry, it was D-pad up. Here it's D-pad down. That froze me off a little bit. Actually, no, I'm stupid. I'm playing the wrong fucking song, you dumbass. I am a numbskull, playing the wrong goddamn song, I think. I'm in its way. This is great value of your time. I think I got back up more. And I just was playing inverted after I just said I was, <laughs> I just got done recording a randomizer. So I'm getting, my, I'm getting my songs mixed up. I played a different Zelda game. The moment you play a different Zelda game, it's everything's out of whack. Once you got this room, these flying titles do not have a name. They just fly at you. Kind of similar to the flying pots. And there's a 30th skull shell right there for our reward list. That we'll be grabbing. If you hook yourself, if you hook shot yourself to a luck like, you'll stun it, but you'll hook yourself shot, you'll hook shot yourself towards it. And that's like more of an efficient way of getting rid of it, just doing a bunch of quick spins. It has no chance of getting out of it. 30 skull tokens, nice. So that means we're due for another reward. Yeah, I definitely would look into the music of the Fire Temple. There's a lot of interesting videos you can find on that. They're well more informative than me being here being like, Oh yeah, the music here is a little bit different in this patch. Can I really knock it up here? There we go. Come on, Link. Let's not be dumb now. I will say, though, switching between Majora's Mask and this does feel different. As that camera almost screwed me right there. Besides the menus being quicker. That was the whole thing I was talking about in that randomizer. Oh, that's right, I can't jump up there. I'm not tall enough. If only I was a few more inches taller. Then we'd be all set. But no. No. I don't want to drop bombs for some reason. I wasn't even trying for that. It just glided me there. So, you know, I guess that's okay. The got these new enemies right here too. Torch slugs. You hit them. Twice and they die. Once you hit them once, they will go into a, like a panic and start running away. Like this. But they'll try to attack you when you get too close to them. Yeah, it's kind of interesting hearing this uh, music. It's pretty cool, I think. 
I can see why they cut it so Nintendo wouldn't have any problems releasing this game. They want to make sure Ocarina of Time released good with good intentions. Uh, let's see. I gotta climb. Got this block here to get over here. I want to climb up here, but you want to drop a bomb right here because. Well, not like that. I think that'll do. There you go. Perfect. That was beautiful. Gotta get up here. in this room oh is this one of the maze yeah it is no there's our boulder sentient boulders these boulders make no sense in this game they like roll back and forth nothing controlling them they're just that sentient I really see me afraid to go I'll tell you a secret for saving me in this temple there are doors that fall down when you try to open them when one of these doors start to fall move if you use a sample of the Goron special crop, you can break it. By the way, the bombs are the special crop he's referring to, I believe. Unless it's a hammer, but I believe it's the uh, bombs. Bombs. Man, this is a bit of a maze we got going on here, and it leads nowhere. A torch slug up, up there, right there. Back there. Yeah, see how these boulders don't make sense? I can open up this door. We got this eye on the wall. Shoot in that sliding door will open. We also got some hearts right there, but if you fall down this, you'll end up back in the center room where we just were uh, a few minutes ago, actually. There really is nothing down there for us. Let's get a quick way to get back in a big chest. Got a dungeon map, we just need our compass now. The I need another key, so I gotta go back. See what I mean? The simple is like find a key? Cool, there's like twenty more after that you gotta go find. Which isn't a bad thing. It's like one of those temples that make you look a little more than you should. I think there's a fake wall here. I thought there's a fake wall here or somewhere. Okay. That's his foot. Okay. I, mean, I don't know how I got hit by a bomb. Who's behind my shield? I think the explosion went through for a minute. Okay, I got sent to the dungeon. Let's get him out of here. I'm free to go. This is, this is the same thing I ask when. <laughs> this is the same thing I ask when the night closers come in when I work in the morning. Am I free to go? You're releasing me? When you're on fire, you can put it out by swinging your sword or by rolling forward. Did you know that? Kind of, but I'd never consider it. I like how Link just stands there and just gives him a look like, the fuck you just told me? Is the Gorms of knowledge? Yeah, the fire behaves somewhat similar. That's a fake wall. I only knew it because I saw the corner of it. And there's a spider in here, too, on top of that. I'm trying to jump slash. Ready one. Nice. Very nice. I'm just going to make our way through this. Well, actually, I know we have an arch key. We might as well go back to that previous room, which I gotta find. Definitely not here. This, this main thing's so bad. It's actually pretty easy to remember where you need to go. I think it was right here. Yeah, here it is. But yeah, like uh, unlike the forest temple, where I was kind of crazy about going through that. This one, not so much. 
Again, it's okay. Not a terrible temple. It just uh, doesn't make me... Uh, I'm just not crazy about it. Design-wise, I do like it. It's fire-based theme design-wise. And no, I did not mean to go almost into the fire burning my face off. Or Link's face off in this case. But we want to run this way. That fire's going to catch up to us and we'll hit you and it'll burn you. Not what you want. Got a heart back. But there's a way around that fire, but we don't need to do that right now because we don't have a key. I can see what I mean. This keys, this temple is full of keys. We need keys everywhere. There is a platform there, but I don't think I can get up there. Now he's highlighting something, but he can't access that right now. I know. Shut up. Damn fairy, I know. Don't think I know. I know. What? Sometimes I miss tattle. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, let's be real. Everyone hates Navi. No one likes Navi. Same thing with Fi and Skyward Sword. No one liked Fi. So I think much later. So I started getting attached to her. And they're like, oh, don't go. Are you releasing me? Here's a tip for rescuing me. Somewhere in this temple, you're sure to meet up with some creatures that dance as they attack. Arrows won't hurt them. Looks like you might need some some of that Goron special crop. That's all I have to tell you. That or a hook shot. It's an enemy a little bit later we'll be seeing in just a moment. It's actually there's actually two of them. And it's a mini boss fight, pretty much. Yes, this temple pulls a double whiz robe on your ass. Kind of like a Snowhead Temple in Majora's Mask, where there's two, uh, there's two whiz robes here. There's two mini bosses, which makes it sound like the temple's bigger, but it's not. Do you want to get? I think I know what I'm missing for that. What hi Navi's highlighting? There's a scarecrow you talk to to get the scarecrow song, and I could have done that like literally any time, but. I don't think it's that important. Plus, again, we, if we need to come back to temples or dungeons, I can always just do that through a segment in the beginning of an episode. So it's not really that big of a deal if we miss something here. Not that huge of an issue. What else I like about the fire temple? Uh, it's color. It's gold. It's like gold and, uh, and volcanic colors. The boss here is actually kind of fun, and it's uh, unique with a uh, unique music. It's not the traditional boss music you would hear normally. You release me? Am I free to go? No, stay in the cage. I'll take a secret for saving me. If you find a place that you can see on the map but can't reach it, try playing your ocarina. No, mind blowing. I would never have thought of that. That girl is a genius. I see, did he just walk off the face? Of, he just walked off out of this cage. I like to think if he took the camera away, I like to think that he just walked off and falls through the map or something. Or maybe he walks off in the distance. Actually, I, don't, I really don't know the answer to that. You know, we got two keys. So now. We gotta go find that room again. Actually, no, we gotta go back to the fire room. Which we can actually go back the way we came in. I'm trying to think if that. Okay, good. Don't fall. Yeah, there's something up to your hookshot too. Then you access that. I don't know if that leads to anything though. Like I don't hear a spider or anything. Oh wow. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's go through this door. It didn't matter if I went through that door on top. It just would have went back the same way we came in that fire room. So it was really, it's whatever. The fire, it's back. Oh no. Anyways, to get around this fire, you have to go over to these pillars. And uh, climb up the one on the left. Right here. Wait for the fire to pass and you can just jump from 
right here to get up here and Link will grab it because he's tall enough for some things he's not tall enough for everything but he's tall enough for some things and this is just an empty hallway with torches looks nice I guess if you like dungeons if you're a dungeon enthusiast I'm sure you'll love it we got this room of fire this one is a bit of a maze actually is there anything over there I think so. Might as well go see. Look at these firewalls. Remember these? Back at uh, Dompe's race. You got Link doesn't get burned alive from this. Okay. I did not mean to run into that. I wanted to start too much, too much of an extra step. Even the pillars on fire. I'm just getting my ass kicked out here. Just gonna back up over here. I saw through the wall for a minute. That was interesting. I see the pillars right there. Go through this door. Now I remember why I had to go through this way. You had to go through this way to get through that door, then this door, and then there's a. See a Goron there. Oh, you know. They do something with that Goron. The, uh. If you look up. Or is it not yet? Or maybe it is right here. Or it's not yet. Nah, not yet. There's a block that spawns in, but I think it's a bit later. I think there's like a song of time block. I think I'm thinking of ahead of myself for a moment. Again, it's been years. Okay, so this part, kind of interesting. So you want, it's basically like a mini maze, but you have to race, you have to race to get to that platform. All you have to do is go left and go straight. You're good. Short timer. You know, these pots, I'll have a bomb and ruby and some health. And going through here, well, this is actually a fake door. This one looks more painted on than the one I tried blowing up earlier. There's the real door. And we got a first mini boss in this temple. Flare Dancer. Extinguishes flame clothes first. You use a special crop like Ron said earlier. Jump back in the fire and get his clothes back on. I guess. He's got blue fire this time. You can do that or just use a hook shot, whatever you prefer. This little guy will try to run away from you. Weird enemy. Definitely unique in the series. Honestly, it's just easier to hook shot it. Unfortunately, my spin attack is too not big enough to hit him again. I've been noticing Link hasn't been doing that spin around too much ever since Goron City. One of the games catching on to me. It's like, oh no, I can't act goofy for a minute. Or I can't act too goofy. I don't know. And our switch right here, but we don't want to hit it right away. It's only one more of those fire dancers are around. I don't think that'll reach. No. Nope, damn it. I'm trying to like bank it off this wall, but that ceiling's too short. There we go. I had to give that extra push with my knee. At 
There's so far a lot of timers. A lot of timers, a lot of keys. Actually, it's not, we're not really that, one, that many timers. A couple here and there. Ah, oh, here's that room. So this is where our special item is. This room's kind of cool, actually. It's got like this spiral that goes up and you gotta make it up to there. And of course, there's bats in the way. We'll try to remove most of them. I said most of them. There we go. We wanna hit the switch and then we're gonna have to make claim our way up to there. Don't have to be too fast. You just gotta be fast enough. Got it. Simple as that. Found the Megaton Hammer. Press the smash and break junk. It's heavy, so you need two hands to swing it. Actually, you'll be a prime example if I can hit you. That is. Got him. This thing's pretty sick. It's like a tool slash weapon, if you will. It's a very nice, nice weapon. Cause also this smash right here can actually reveal uh, grottos to you too. So you don't, you don't really need bomb explosions for it. And you can jump slash with it. Though that didn't look as stylish as I hope it would be. I don't think there's anything else up here. So let's just drop down. This small opening and you got this pillar right here. We saw earlier in the temple. Hitting that will knock it away and disappear it. So you, you can think of it as like an alternate weapon kind of thing. You can even slash with it sideways when facing your target. I guess think of it like the, um, kind of similar to like the Great Fairy Sword of Majora's Mask. But this is, again, this is like more like a tool than a weapon. But you can use it as a weapon, that is. But yeah, if Link has to hold it with two hands, you can, this thing's got to be pretty heavy then. And he's carrying this in his pocket. Like nothing. This is one of the switches I can't stay on forever. So you gotta place a block there. Kind of similar to Jabba Jabba's belly. Let's try to do a stylish. There we go. Wanna climb up here? We got a switch right here. The switch, it looks rusted. Can't push it down. It's like glued. So, you need a little bit of uh, extra force to push it down. Yeah, this is what I was thinking about earlier. I was getting ahead of myself. Thank you for making that jump, at least, Link. I keep thinking of a song reverted time. Got an arrest the switch. Push that down. And it freezes Goron. What's up, buddy? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. A door hidden inside the statue at the entrance to this temple. But the Goron's special crop won't work on it. Don't you have anything stronger? Thanks for the tip, I guess. I, I Again, you're, you're a genius. I would never have figured that out. On my own. Thanks for your wisdom. Got a key. I think this is the last of the keys, actually. We're actually almost done with this temple. We do have to smash that opening at the center, which we can do. Might have to do a little bit of backtracking right here to get back there. But we did push that, um, that thing down. Get the hell away from me. Actually, I think I go back for that doorway because there's none of these ways. Yeah, they don't let me go through. I gotta climb back up. That's more like a trap right there to only progress forward. Alright, through this door. Let's go back. And unfortunately, the switch doesn't stay pressed, but that's okay. We got the hammer. Fine. 
We're back where we started. Yeah, not a terrible temple. I I say it's 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 just okay in my books. Again, that's super crazy about it, but if you are, good for you. Again, with the music it uh, from this patch, it is kind of cool to hear something that was in a before a uh, national release or worldwide release, I should say. We got this this room right here. I remember this room. It's got some slugs in here. Also, if you use a hammer on these slugs, you can flip them over. And they're easier to kill, but... Eh. They're whatever. You can just jump slash and do a spin or two. And, you know... There's lots of ways to kill those things. The hammer is just to make it so you can flip them over and go ham at them. Another one of these spinning tiles right here. I think that's our last sculpture right there, actually. Maybe. Nope, I did not want to jump at it. Don't worry, we'll get him back. He ain't running anywhere, dude. Give me my clothes back. And my shield. Got it. I guess that was a good example to show that. Uh, yeah, luckily you can steal your stuff and try to run away, but they won't get far. They're very slow. Anyways, spider smash! A natural reaction to have when you see a spider in your house. Actually, the most age-appropriate reaction is to have a grenade on ready. And you can use a hammer on this guy, too, to knock him out of his, uh, form. Oh, I kept them there for a minute. Whoa. You can keep them stunned with this thing quite a bit. This thing is powerful here. Again, it's got a lot of uses. Yeah, you can get two free tits on them and then jump slash when he comes up in the corner here. Or spin. Since I missed a jump slash. Recovering with a spin. No, get back here. Oh, as soon as the hammer keeps him down here. Battery does less damage than the uh, Master Sword. Or it just keeps them stunned, so you can get more hits on them. Either way, it, se it seems like it keeps them here a little more. Got here. Bombs. Yeah, you have a bit of a... Bit of a ways to deal with that guy. And we got the boss key. Hey man. Are you releasing me? I'm free to go? I see Big Brother Dur Darunia asks you to rescue me. I owe you big time. Please help Big Brother. I will, but I just realized I think I missed the compass somewhere. I kind of want to grab that because I did say 100% this game. And compasses do count. Unless it's back in the main room? I'm going to double check real quick. Alright, I learned something new today in this game. Uh, if you do not have the Scarecrow song, as I stated earlier with that platform, it does lead up to the Sculptra and it does lead up to the compass. So the compass is in an unreachable area at the moment right now. I will come back here in the next episode and grab it because I know where the scarecrow is. I just haven't gone to the area location yet. But anyways, we're just about finished up here. Let's go fight the boss. The boss fight is definitely fun. I'll say that much about it.
Sub three, Lava Dragon, Volvagia. Into Dragon. We take our hammer, smash his head, and do it again. Giving him a headache. That's actually a pretty brutal headache. That's more than a headache, that's a concussion. While he's in the air, you can actually shoot for him. If you can actually hit his face more than once. Usually I'm only able to hit his face like maybe once. But there's these lava pools he'll appear in. So change his direction and move around. Don't stand him in too long or else you will be burned. Yeah, see, I can only get like maybe one or two shots off him with the arrows. He'll go up and he'll start making the ceiling rain on you, which is not good. Just keep moving and you'll be fine. Thanks for showing up near me, buddy. He is a pretty cool looking dragon and a pretty cool boss. Appearance wise, he looks cool, but like design wise, like if you want to fight another dragon, I don't think he lasts long enough. Oh, they got two hits on him on, on the arrows. Let's see where you're gonna be, buddy. Right here. He's done. His mouth's still moving. That's weird. They quite a number on us. With that, we got a heart container. Come back for that compass later. Thank you, brother. Really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. By the way, I, the wild Darunia, turned out to be the great sage of fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, that must be why they called. Must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Hey, brother. Take this. This is a medallion that comes with the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. Crimson shiny. See the fire medallion. Drunia awakens as a, as a sage and aids you, his power to yours. Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. Brothers. Oh, that was fun. And with that, the fire temple is now cleared. Well, kind of. I'm actually going to go and get that Scarecrow song right away, actually. So hang on. I'll be right back. And I'll also get my reward on the way out. Oh, there's two of them, though. 
I think this is this one you talk to? Yeah, whoa, you have an ocarina. Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me with it, baby? <laughs> it's not bad. Don't mean I can't remember. I can remember eight notes, but let's just cut to the cut it right there for now, baby. Now, if you play that song, I should have played it faster. I wanted to play it slow to make sure. Uh, see if I can do that again. No, there's too many, too many notes on the right. Yeah. Put your buddy over here. This Pierre, I was wondering, Scarecrow. Actually, I wish I could wander. Oh, you're the one who wants to move. Okay. Why well, you wanted to stop there? Mr. Scarecrow, remember this tune? Hey, it's an ocarina. Play this song with it, with it, baby. No. It wanted to go left. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's the tune. You rock. I'm blown away. Oh, no, no. I didn't forget the song. I never forget anything. But I just feel like rewarding you. I have a good idea. My buddy Pierre is wandering around, so play that tune when you want to, to call him. I'll tell him to help you if he is nearby hearing that song. Thanks for that. Okay, back in this room. All this for... a compass. And no, I'm not forgetting about the fishing mini game either. I just haven't done that yet. I'll uh, save that for its own part because I get to do that as an adult and a kid, I believe. You know, once we get up here, got this platform right here, and this is what we missed out on in our initial run. This will take you up into a room. This room has a skull show in it that you'll miss. If you're like me. There's a face behind that grate. I think that's supposed to shoot off fire, though. And there's a 33rd skull token. I guess this room. There's another one. Got it. Now we got the switch. There's a hook shot right there, a tower right there, you'll notice. If I can aim quick enough. that again do I absolutely need that yeah you do all right hang on I'll wait because I already wasted enough time It's not like the it's not like we have a warm mass to use. Nah, it's not until the next game. Really? That might have just screwed it. Same thing with that. We just got it. Never mind, I thought that run was botched. A huge ruby here. But I think is that really everything? Huge crater in this room. 
I'll die for a huge ruby. That's kind of interesting. You fall down here, though. You'll land back down here. I am a dummy. I deserve that. I am a dummy. You want to know why? I didn't open up one door in this entire place. And here's the compass. You didn't need to get the scarecrow song. But I did that just to get those two sculptures. I thought it was up there. No, it's in this one hallway you can easily miss. If you're not paying attention like me. Here it is. Well, that's dumb. It's been years. I'm out of here. Since we are done with that temple, there is a few things we can look at around here. For example, there's a grotto you can actually access here. With the Megaton Hammer. There's this one right here. Which has a bunch of shopkeepers in it. I don't think there's anything useful in here, but I have the money to spend. I pieces... No, thank you. This would be useful in a randomizer setting, though. So, yeah, air's 30 or 7... 30 piece or 70. That's pretty pricey. Too close to him. Get out of here. Bombs? 5 piece for 40? No. There's nothing in here. I just want to show that because it's right here. There's also that heart piece up there, but I believe you need beans for that. There's also this way, which leads... I not... Wouldn't let me check that sign earlier. This leads back to Goron City, which we could go into in just a moment. I forgot what this leads to. Question mark? Oh, Great Fairy's Fountain. This is a different one, though. I forgot what this one gives you. <laughs> Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Wisdom. I'm going to enhance your magic power. Receive it now. Magic Meters Extended. Enhanced. Magic Power has been enhanced. Now you have twice as much magic power. <laughs> Bells made you weary. Please come back to see me. I couldn't remember when Double Magic was in this game. If it was like a little bit later or now, but no, not until now. Yeah, good to know. Can't access that normally without the hammer, so that's good to remember for, again, randomizing. When we get to it, we get to it. I want to go up this way. I don't even know. Wait, do I have any beans on me? I got one, but I can't use it because you got to be a kid. You're probably wondering where you would use that. It's somewhere in here. I think it's actually up this way. I think there's a way to land on that without without it, but it's kind of tricky. Actually, there's a fake wall here. Bombs. And there's a Sheikah Stone statue here. Bing bong. It's 132. Especially when I gaze the piercing into your mind. Well, I didn't bring... Yeah, I didn't bring the mask of truth. I had the lens of truth, but I don't think that works the same way. There are... But there's another thing that's interesting here. There is more platforms down there. I think this is a grotto here. I don't think there's anything interesting to point out. 
No, there isn't. Oh, I hear a spider right here. There he is. 35. As we're making our way down Death Mountain, as I break my knees, Stone Agony was responding here. Okay, is it a heart or what? Oh, you know what it is? Song of Storms, I think. Because if hammers and bombs don't work to reveal a grotto, Song of Storms will do the same thing. Sometimes it requires that, sometimes it requires hammers or bombs. But I think in here it's just a regular grotto. Nothing too special. But a big ruby in here, that's a waste. I haven't really found any reason to spend money besides maybe just potions and stuff, but... There is something coming up we can do here, but I'm gonna save it for the next episode. I kinda wanna climb down Death Mountain and actually get a reward and then end it there. So I'll meet you guys in Kakariko Village. Spider dudes, I see the one guy's already freed right over there. Excuse me? The curse has been broken. Thank you. It's a reward for you. Got the giant's wallet. What a huge wallet. I can carry up 500 rubies. Excellent. By this point, when I was playing Ocarina Time, anytime I ever played it, um, it's probably the time I wouldn't care for the sculptures anymore. But like I said, we're getting them all. But anyways, I'm going to end things off here in Kakariko Village. Let you listen to this peaceful music. Next time in the Legends of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're going to do some running around for a bit. For a particular kind of weapon. Shall we say, a bigger sword. If you made this far into the video, I really appreciate it. If you want to support me even further, I have social media links down in the description below. As well as my two artist information. As well as their live stream links and discords. If you want to go check that out, I really appreciate it. They definitely deserve the support. Until then, I will see you guys next time. See ya.